Many of us have eaten fried rice, but yakimeshi fried rice? I don't think so. If you're thinking of cooking up some yakimeshi fried rice for your guests, then you're in the right place. The first thing you need to do is to crumble rice with your hands. Now heat a large skillet over medium heat and add vegetable oil and tilt the pan to ensure it's coated. If you want, you can make a garlicky and buttery version of this recipe. Just saute garlic and butter in olive oil before adding in your rice and you're good to go. Fun fact, yakimeshi also goes by the Chinese name chahan because it is believed to have originated in the 1860s and was first prepared by Chinese immigrants living in the port of Kobe. Though many people think these are two different dishes, they are actually the same. Chahan is simply a variation on the Chinese name for fried rice, chao fan. Then, Add egg and allow it to bloom, then scramble. Now add crumbled rice to the egg before it becomes cooked. Use a spatula to break up any clumps. Putting the rice in the egg beforehand will coat the rice, making it less sticky and easier to work with. Don't worry about writing this down, I've got all the ingredients in the description box below. As compared to other rice dishes, the biggest difference that you will find with yakimeshi is that it's made with short grain rice as opposed to long grain. Why short grain? Well, it's because it has a chewy texture that makes it unique and delicious. Although short grain rice is used for this recipe, it is hard to work with. That's why it's better to use leftovers or day-old rice because it's easier to manage. If you want a different variation that adds more flavor to your fried rice, yakimeshi fried rice goes well with protein dishes including red meat, white meat, and seafood. Maybe you can pair it with shrimp skewers, Japanese hamburger steak, Japanese chicken curry, kima curry, loco moco, omo rice, seafood gratin, sous vide Japanese style steak, or even white stew. Now add ham and season it with salt and pepper. Variations include adding curry powder to make curry fried rice. You can also add chicken instead of ham and season it with ketchup. Toss everything together to make sure seasonings are distributed and to keep it from sticking to the pan. Drizzle soy sauce on the edge of the pan and toss the rice to ensure it's coated. The soy sauce is put on the edge of the pan as this caramelizes the sauce instantly. Add sesame and scallions and toss to combine. Get that wake! Scallions and sesame oil are great for adding color and flavor. Let's face it, fried rice is our go-to dish whenever we feel like we don't want to do anything for the day. So if you're feeling a little lazy and want to make something in a few minutes with just a handful of simple ingredients, then try this easy yakimeshi recipe. Two spatulas can be used to mix the ingredients, but tossing them in the pan is a more efficient way to cook. Once you're sure everything is combined and coated, transfer the rice into a bowl. Press the rice into the bowl to mold it, and voila! Once you release it, your yakimeshi is ready to serve. There you have it, your very own yakimeshi! That's it! Click the video to learn how to make a healthy Japanese vegetable dish called yasai itame. Stay tuned for more videos of your favorite Japanese dishes. Until next time!